So guys, we are back with another POV photography shoot. Got my sling here, and it's gonna be a street photography shoot, but this time, having a different lens. I have a Carl Zeiss 35 millimeter F2, one of the best lenses there you can have. Great color rendition, great clarity, great sharpness. Just an overall incredible lens, paired with my Nikon Z6. So it's gonna be a fun one today, so stick around and let's get started. in the video and today people today we're doing another pov street photography shoot this time with a little bit of a different setup i got my carl zeiss lens in here 35 mil f2 this is a fantastic lens everything about it is amazing the clarity sharpness micro contrast everything about this lens is awesome but the thing is it's a manual focus lens so I'm using it with my nikon z6 uh great combo honestly everything about it is amazing so we're gonna do some street photography with this i'm here at newport beach this is a bit of a different scene than usual more beachy more you know that beach aesthetic so let's uh look around and because i got about an hour till sunset so let's look around see what's over here and uh let's do some street photography So guys, I just finished taking a look around this place. Um, it's not bad. Uh, there's definitely not a lot. There's pretty much that strip over there and then back there, the pier. But overall, I think I can work with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put you guys on my camera, which you guys are already on my camera. And let's do some POV photography. I don't know if it's called street photography. I just shoot around and see what's up. So yeah, let's do some photography. What's up y'all? We are now behind the scenes, behind the camera. Today we'll be doing some POV street photography. Um, real quick, I want to just touch up on like my style of shoot photography. So a lot of throughout this video you've been seeing is a lot of me shooting a more environmental type of stuff, not necessarily focus on people because I am a landscape photographer at heart. So I don't really focus on people for say, I care more about the environment, the buildings, the streets, um, that type of stuff, the vibe there. Um, so people aren't necessarily like a big part of my, uh, my shoot photography. So I just want to put that out there. And we shoot, I shoot a lot of buildings like right here. And I'm just gonna, you know, just kind of getting that idea of shooting that rubies back there, but minus the people in front, I guess. But yeah, I'm shooting a lot of um, like kind of more of the environment type of stuff. And I think that's cool because street photography is very much a uh, like based off what you want to showcase in like the actual street type of stuff. So yeah, not really too focused on people. Um, I wouldn't call myself a pure street photographer for se. Um, that's something I just like to do for fun, so I'm not too serious in it. But I enjoy doing it because it kind of, you know, gets me out of my element. Try something a bit different that's not landscape photography. So now let's deep dive into these photos. So right here, uh, these are my edited photos. Any photo that you see edited is a photo that I really like. Um, right here, I really want to capture that sun behind the guy. I feel like that's a big part of this scene right here. Um, capturing that sun and that warmth. I really like this scene a lot. But, it, you know, I, I don't really want to, like, get too close because I'm not trying to, like, mess with them too much. This is probably the only photo where I actually have a human as, like, the center part of it. Um, but, yeah, really trying to capture that warmth. I have to crop in a lot because um, if I could, I would get closer or have a um, longer lens. But I have a 35 mil on me, so don't really have that um, sort of luxury. So let's keep moving on here. So we keep on walking here. And this pier is actually pretty long. So and there's not a whole lot to see over here. But there's a pretty good amount of like beach area stuff and kind of those leading lines leading up to it to that sun which i like which is kind of what i'm going for here you know getting that beach area down there i'm trying to lead up to the sun back there so that's what i was going for there and we're gonna keep on moving on here more into the main street area of the newport beach area which i like it's kind of more of a pier i'm um, truly kind of try to just show those leading lines leading up to that center but right here you know we're not really getting decent lighting like when I say that, it's still like too blue for my liking. So that photo doesn't really come out too well just because of the lighting itself. It's not a bad composition, but 
thing with street photography as well is that you know working with the lighting is definitely much different from landscape photography in a sense that you know you do want to capture more of that golden hour versus uh, landscape photography i'm trying to capture more of that blue hour so that's just a big difference right there right here i'm going to go across the street i see this nice archway with these palm trees just want to capture that in the sun i think it looks pretty cool so i'm gonna go ahead and give this one an edit um, well, I'm not trying to do too much of my edits right here. I'm just trying to add some color in there, some more dynamic feel, bring up those shadows. Um, when I edit, my goal isn't necessarily to try to create an amazing photo that doesn't look realistic. Like I want to be as real as possible, make it feel like you're actually there in the moment. And you'll not try to do too much. I think sometimes in photography, we try to do too much with our photos. So I'm trying to keep it nice and simple here. And you know, get some nice photos there. One shot, no problem. I see this kind of sign over here more towards the end. Uh, what I like to do sometimes is shoot through stuff. So I'm shooting through some leaves right here, but I don't think it turns out too well. Uh, there's just not enough of those leaves and it doesn't really create a nice like flow with the image. It doesn't isolate the subject well enough. So I don't really care for that one too much. This one I like here a lot because I can grab that sun star right there. As you can kind of see, it's a little one, but um, I think it's a really nice lighting. Uh, we'll get that golden hour peak coming there through. And you can get those nice lines with that kind of um, like those breaking lines in the middle i think it looks nice and i'm gonna go ahead and add this one bring back the shadows a bit add a bit of warmth add just a bit more color back into it because if you can see with the original version it's really dark uh, it's harder to bring out those colors but bring out those colors and making it look decent with those lines and stuff and how you know the archways and the buildings and the palm trees especially shape your eyes towards the center which i like a lot so keep on moving on here more to the other side of the bridge just trying to see what's over here you know kind of getting a similar type of angle but this time a bit lower to the ground with a 35 millimeter it's a lot harder to get that wide angle point of view and i go ahead and edit this one of course but you know like i said like my last one those shadows were a bit dark trying to bring that up trying to showcase this kind of path here towards that sun and we're trying to get more uh, colors into there more light overall i actually think it's a really nice photo um nothing too crazy with that edit but again like we're not trying to do too much like i said we're just trying to do uh, get get it kind of how it feels like in if you were actually be there so that is that you move it on here uh, i go in a little bit of an approach here instead of trying to shoot more street trying to capture that pure lighting essence and i think a great way to do that is with more like naturey type of areas like this trying to capture this plant right here and i think it does a it does a great job at showcasing what that light looks like how that feels like and that's my goal right here just to get that light going through it I guess the hardest part with this um, sort of subject right here is that because it's kind of moving, I have a magnet focus lens, it's really hard to actually capture exactly what I want. So I don't really mess with that one too much. But that's the general idea I was going for. So we keep on moving on here. Um, I'm not gonna show you guys like exactly how many steps it take, but I'm kind of walking around because I, when I was shooting here before, I kind of had a general idea as to what I want. So when I come back to these areas, I can get the perfect lighting and not have to worry about finding the compositions. So right here, I'm just shooting these light bulbs right here. Uh, in this photo, it, you kind of get the general idea as to what I want, but I want all of them lit up. And it was kind of hard because those lights were kind of going in and out. So if we move on here, I'll show you the actual photo. I kind of go through a few photos right here just to kind of try to get what I want. But right here, get the right photo that I wanted. As you can see, those nice and bokeh out back, as well as isolating that one light in the front. And if you look at the edited version, it looks really nice here, guys. I really like this photo a lot. You get that nice depth with the um, F2, with the Carl Zeiss, and we're bringing back a lot of those colors, a lot of those like, um, like kind of golden colors in the background. Um, nothing too crazy, like I said, but it's those nice hints of colors that really bring out what you want in the photo. Got that nice contrast, and overall, I really like this photo. It's really simple, but you know, you can see the kind of buildings going through it, and I don't know, I just like this a lot. It's really simple, and it has a nice subject, and I think the buildings shape the actual photo very nice, along with the depth of the color. So. Overall, I like this photo a lot. And what I'm going to try here is moving back a bit because I think this is a nice scene, but I don't want to get that like cart on the left hand side, if you feel me. So I'm going to go ahead and moving up a bit and just trying to capture the entire scene. Um, it's really similar to my last photo, so I don't really go and edit it. Um, I think the last photo has a bit more depth and dynamic feel to it. So that's why I kept that one over the last one I shot. So right here, I kind of see that fairy building in the back. I think it's kind of cool. So what I'm doing here is because it's in the middle of the street, don't want to be too crazy. Um, so I pre-manual focus before I actually go onto the street. So when I get on there, I can just click away and 
get the exact composition that I want. But clearly I don't get exactly what I want because that car was in there for some reason. So I go back and just shoot another photo real quick. Try to get those lines nice and aligned. Um, actually very nice colors here. I like this a lot, but it's just, you know, it, it's not exactly what I want. Um, but overall, nice colors, man. That lens is doing a lot of work for me. So we keep walking here. Um, this time we're gonna be moving more towards the pier area on the other side. So there's like kind of two, this is kind of more like a boardwalk, I guess. I don't know, but this kind of strip of stuff. As you can see here, it's not the cleanest and there's not a whole lot to work with, but there are some compositions that I found earlier that I really liked. And one of them is with these boats here. We can create some nice leading lines with those uh, rails in the front um, leading towards that boat. I think that's a really nice photo right there, but um, it's really kind of off axis, which um, is kind of a bit annoying. So this was a photo that I take and I'm going to hit, go ahead and edit this one. This is really nice because, you know, we get those nice lines in the front. Like I said, um, edit those colors a bit, add more orange, add more of that like nice tint to it. That kind of makes it feel more sunrisey. And uh, this lens, the Carl Zeiss lens I'm using, performs best at f2. So even though this is a composition that's more landscapey, I shoot at f2 because we still want to like have the uh, boats in the background be the main subject and not these rails in front here. So shooting f2 is no problem for me. Let's keep on moving on here. We're nearing towards the end of it. I like this boat right here. Um, again, like there's some pretty nice colors now that it's working towards sunset. I can definitely work with it. So this is kind of the uh, idea I'm going for. But the problem with this photo is that the boat is a little bit too high in the composition. I'm going to bring that down a bit. So that's exactly what I do in the next photo here. So right here, as you can see, the color is amazing. Everything about this photo is nice. But just going to be boosting those shadows just a little bit, adding a bit more contrast and a bit more color. So I like that photo a lot. Um, and from this point on, there really isn't much else to shoot. I mean... There is that Ferris wheel right there, but I, I it's, it's really hard to get because, you know, it's not nighttime and I'm not about to wait a long time for nighttime. And I'm shooting a photo of this fairy sign right here just because, you know, why not? Um, but yeah, this is pretty much most of what I got for the day. Um, like I said, you know, street photography is one of those things where it's not, I'm not too serious about it, but uh, my goal of these POV shoots is to bring you along for the ride um, in terms of my own journey of photography. And I feel like, you know, this is something I enjoy doing just for the fun of it. So I figured why not bring you guys along for the ride, show you guys what I like to do in my street photography and how my uh, landscape photography affects it. So these are the photos that I really liked today. So let me know what was your favorite down in the comment section down below. And uh, yeah, guys, let's get back to the video. So guys, that is pretty much the end of this video. Um, I shot all the shots I wanted to take. There wasn't too much stuff here for me to actually like go ahead and shoot. So I, bit, I did the best I could with what I had. This was a pretty short episode of POV street photography, I guess. Is that what it's called? Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.